up, I will not live in a box. Move my patrol and you suck. I don't make way for a prodigy. Nobody do it better than me, not incredibly. I do this competitively, unedibly. These fall in silent when I walk up in the building. Worry about their future like I'm here to snatch their children. That line was brilliant. How I'm not already in the millions. Am I not the picture of resilience? Why they test my patience? Hyping all this lame. No one got a brain, they just be liking all the same. This is what the I'm in on in the street games. I'm convinced that nobody is speaking my language. I'm a bit of ass, so listen close when I say this. After every, 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 every still stainless. I can make a scene go, go. Everything I wrote gon' smoke so dangerous. I can make an Einstein feel brainless. But look on the bright side, hope yield changes. I'ma get it started. Please give me a pardon. Cause this is EA Sports coverage of the NFL brings us to South Florida and Hard Rock Stadium here in Miami. Today, a fun matchup in the AFC East, as it'll be the Buffalo Bills taking on the Miami Dolphins. Here's Jason Sanders now to get this one started, and we are underway from Miami. And from the end zone, Deontay Hardy will bring it out. And the decision to come out of the end zone is going to cost him five yards as he's taken down right at the 20. Allen going to go to the air right away. Flush to his right. And a big loss here as he's taken down. Buried behind the line by Christian Wilkins. After the sack, oh, they're staring at a challenge basically from the other side of town. It's second at a country mile. Allen now looks to throw. And that will be incomplete. Trying to dial up the long way way out there, but it'll be third down. You get a sense of what this game plan might be. They think they can take a few home run shots against this defense. They tried it there on the opening drive, but that ball's incomplete. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. And that will be incomplete. Nice back-to-back -back plays defensively. They're stacking momentum now. One incompletion, two incompletion. They're going for more. Here's Sam Martin now. And no room for air here as his first punt comes from deep in his own end zone. And he gets it away, a directional kick going toward the sideline. Yeah, not a great one there. Out of bounds in the air. And the offense is going to be set up already in enemy territory inside the 45. And the two is going to change things up. Here's Tonga by Loa on first and 10. And the Bills are going to get him as he goes down. So now 20 yards to go on second down after the sack. Work to be done. Here's Tua. They're going deep for Hill. This is caught inside the 15. And all the way in for the nine yards. And the Dolphins are on the board first here this afternoon. Well, you've got to like that start on both sides of the football. You force the three and out, and then you score on your first drive. Well, I know someone who doesn't like that start. Well, yeah, the other side. Yeah, they don't like that at all, right? This is not the way it's supposed to be. But what you just described, that's team football. All right, when you get a three and out, you're supposed to take advantage of it on the offensive side of the ball. You said, thank you very much for getting us to rock. Let's put it in the end zone, and they did exactly that. From a couple yards deep, he'll bring it out of the end zone. 
And he will be brought down here inside the 20. Good coverage as he's dropped at the 17. Buffalo offense ready to go for their next drive. And these guys definitely hoping for a better showing than their last appearance. They couldn't really even move the football much beyond the shadows of their own goalpost, Charles. We'll see if they can get a better, more sustained drive going here. Yeah, and every team that we ever talk to says the exact same thing. When you start a drive from that deep in your own territory, the goal is a minimum of at least two first downs because even if you have to punt then, you change the field position, right? You flip the field a little bit. They didn't get that done. This time they want to string together a nice drive and help themselves out. Eluding the pressure right. Oh, Allen cannot get away, and down he goes. Okay, you know my bias is about to come out here. A lot of people think that the offense is just moving in the wrong direction. I'd say they're moving in the right direction because the defense is pushing them back. Former defensive guy. Now, as a quarterback, third and long, you really got to rally the troops here, don't you? Yeah, you do in a big way. And what else do you have to look out for? More pressure coming at you because it seems to be working pretty well. And they work this well upfield across the 45. That's a first down with a cherry on top, 31 yards. This play is a thing of beauty when it works as designed because they let the running back slip out of the backfield and head down the sideline on a wheel route. Number one, it's easy for him to get lost. And number two, really tough for the linebacker to run with him. And this ball's right on the money and leads to a big play. And they'll send the tight end in motion here. Now a guy who played his high school ball at Miami Central, it's James Cook. And the gain here to the previous play, and it's better than 40 yards total. I think they like this drive a little bit better there, partner. Running game helping out, picking up some of the slack. Because remember the last drive, they went three and out. They run again on first down. Cook officially no gain on the play, and it's second down. Here's Cook again. Five yards. Now it's third and five. A quick burst there, and he nicely bit off. A pretty decent game. Play number seven now coming up on the drive. Third and five. To the air. Allen. Escaping the pressure, and he can't get rid of it. He's taken down. And how about this? Fourth and long, and they're going to go for it. Working out of the shotgun. Here's Allen. away and incomplete. And what a time has expired. So good starting field position for him here as they come up first and 10 on their side of midfield at the 47. And he'll take it across midfield and into Buffalo territory. Ball on the 47-yard line. Here's second and four. Up the middle they go with Mostert. And this won't be enough to pick up the first. A gain of two, third and one. Just not a whole lot of room to operate there on that carry. No, not at all. They did a really nice job staying in their proper places and not allowing any lanes to open up. And he will have a first down here at about the 40. Give him the third down conversion. Five yards on the play. And they'll go on the ground. And a short gain there down to the 37-yard line. Tackle made there by Jordan Poyer. This a second and seven from the 37. Now they'll throw with Tagovailoa. That's caught by the Notre Dame man. It's Durham Smythe. And he's taken down, but not before reaching the 10-yard line. Two and now on first down. He's got it. Touchdown, Dolphins. 
Durham Smythe from 10 yards out. And the Dolphins have taken a two-touchdown lead now. Sanders now to add the extra point. And it's good to make it 14-0. Now after the touchdown, ready to kick it away is Sanders. From a yard or two deep, here comes a return. And he's only going to make it to the 13-yard line and no further. The Bills come to the line to start their next drive. And they're in a bind early here, down 14-0. Are you worried at this stage or still too early? You're worried. You're just trying not to transmit it to the rest of your team. You want to make sure that they stay positive. But at the same time, you're wondering, how are we going to move the football? What do we have on this play sheet that can work? Get back to basics is usually your answer. And make sure you find the guy who can move the ball fastest for you if you just get it in his hands. Yeah, still second quarter. You get points on the board here. I think you're feeling okay. Second quarter action with 1.59 remaining. Second down and six now. Motion man is Shakir. Throwing now is Allen. Setting up the screen for Cook. And he gets this up across the 35 before he's out of bounds. That's a nice design there, but sometimes, though, you get so many blockers out ahead of you, they kind of slow you down and force you to adjust. You always appreciate guys trying to help you, but maybe one less there could have turned this into a bigger game. Now Allen again. Right back to Cook for another completion. And he is going to have a Bills first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. First down now, but the clock continues to move. Allen. And this is incomplete. And not a common sight, at least on this drive. A momentary setback, though, for this passing game that has been moving well this series. Good thing for them, though. Still two more downs to connect and try and pick up another first down. Another throw on second down, and this one incomplete as well. I tell you, Brandon, this defense is playing with some confidence. Haven't allowed a point yet. Flying to the football. I'm telling you, it's almost 11 to the ball on every snap. Another nice job there to force an incompletion. Throwing is Allen on third. And the Dolphins rush gets home. Down he goes. You got to be careful here. They need to move quickly, but it's also fourth. Allen going to go on fourth down. Flushed out right. On the run, he'll let this go deep right side. Oh, and that is incomplete. Boy, a real head scratcher there. And the Dolphins get the football in great field position. So they take a big, big chance here in their own territory. And you think the coach may have some questions to answer? Yeah, and, you know, normally we focus on the media, right, the social media barrage that he's going to get for this one. How about on his own sideline and in his locker room? Because yeah. I think the team's going to look at him like, Coach, well, why would we go for it there? I mean, no confidence in the defense. You don't like the punter. I mean, what's going on here? You owe us some explanations. Tongue of Iloa to throw on second down here. Toward the sideline, and look at that catch. Dragging the toes, and that's going to be a first down. Well done. 23 yards the pick up there. So not quite a first and goal. It's first and 10 from the 10. Looking to pass. Tua. To the end zone, but it's incomplete. The way he's been slinging in the first half, you expect everything he throws to go for a touchdown, but I guess he's got to wait to try and pick up that third, isn't he? Yeah, I thought he had him for a second, but you're right not to be. Tua once again here on second and ten. This is caught. Touchdown, Dolphins. 
Durham Smythe as the first half is winding down. And the Dolphins would extend their lead here just before halftime. Well, just a sensational start for this offense, Charles. Three drives, three passing touchdowns. Is that like mentioning a perfect game in baseball? We could to do it here in football, pardon me. No, I think you can do it here in football. I think perfect game in baseball, that, that's its own category. Yeah, I think you're right about that. Could not imagine a worse start for that secondary, or let's face it, a better one for this offense. No chance they stop passing now the way that it's going. I think they'll continue to press the ball downfield and hopefully reap the same results. Buffalo offense ready to go for their next drive. And with time quickly fading here in the second quarter, not sure how aggressively, offensively they want to play this. I think we'll find out just how much they trust their guys in this situation if they decide to take a shot. Now here's a pass on first down that's knocked away and incomplete. So another incompletion there. He's hitting on fewer than half his pass attempts in this one, and that is not a winning formula. Yeah, so let's make sure we give a little bit of credit to the defense here. They've given him a lot to think about, a lot of different looks, and he seems a little bit confused trying to complete passes. Now he'll let it go deep right side. That's going to be knocked away and incomplete. Trying to get something positive to happen here before the break, and they sure need it. They went for the big one, but it winds up incomplete. A final shot before half for Allen. He'll let this go deep for Sherfield. That is incomplete. That's it for the first half. Two more quarters to go. We'll have plenty more to see after the break. And we welcome you back live now inside the booth alongside Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gordon, set and ready to rock for the third quarter. And how about this right out of the locker room? An onside kick attempt. The Dolphins in front, and they'll be in possession of the football first as the second half gets started. A very interesting call and one that backfires. I know they're losing, Charles, but boy, to start the second half with the onside kick, risky. Felt like a sense of urgency from their side, coupled with, you and I both know the special teams coordinators, they sell their key plays each and every week to the head coach, don't they? And I guarantee he's been selling this one. We can get it, coach. We can get it. And that came together with that sense of urgency you talked about. Oftentimes when you're losing a game and the team's still throwing with this kind of a lead, you start playing a little more physically. And they took that opportunity right there to be extremely physical and force that incompletion. And he's going to get it down to the 33-yard line here. Nine yards, and that leaves him just short, so it'll be third and less than a yard. Once again, it's Mostert. And he's able to get it to the 31, and that's enough for the first. And the offense moving quickly to the line. Two and now on first down. He's going to let this go. Back of the end zone. And it's incomplete. Took a shot. Couldn't connect. Line of scrimmage, the 31 as they line up second and 10. Two are going to throw. And that falls to the ground incomplete. A nice job of bodying him up defensively. And now it brings up third down. Now right where this set of downs started, they need a full 10 here to pick up the first down and move the chains. Throwing his tongue of Iloa on third down here. And he's going to go down. They get to him back at the 40. Ed Oliver that time, the one to get in there and bring him down. The Dolphins will send out the punter now, as he should be able to pin him back deep here with his first punt. And that is much too long. That's into the end zone for a touchback. The Bills come to the line to start their next drive. 
I kind of feel like they've reached a do or die point in this game Charles if they're going to try to pull off an impressive comeback it has to start right here right now yeah now it got his man complete and all the way home for a Bills touchdown Gabriel Davis an 80 yard touchdown and the Bills get a bit closer Extra point by Bass, up and good. And they'll cut the lead to 21-7. After the touchdown, Bass to kick it away. Hill is going to take it out of the end zone. And that decision to bring it out ends up not being a good one. Costs him about five yards as he's tackled at the 20. At their own 20-yard line. First down Miami as they get set to start the drive. Their lead down from 21 to 14, but still sitting at a great spot. Up two scores here in the third quarter. And a great job there to read that one defensively. They strung him out and would not allow him to cut up field. A solid run on first down. Gain of seven leaves him with a second and three. Now Tua. And he rifles one incomplete. But you most certainly don't want to go three and out here and give the football right back because your friend, Old Momentum, he's wondering if he should change sidelines about right now. And if you don't convert here, guess what? He's going to make the trek to the opposite side, and all of a sudden, you've got a battle on your hands. And obviously, they want that run yardage, so they decline the penalty. Yeah, no doubt about it. Smart on their part. They finished off the play. But if you're going to jump, if you're going to commit a penalty, it's your job to finish off the play so you don't give up big gains like that. They'll let this go deep for Waddle. That's caught inside the 20. Touchdown. Jim and Waddle. 66 yards. And the Dolphins take a three-touchdown lead. Boy, he has been fun to watch throwing the football in this one. It's certainly not fun for that defense, though, Charles. Now up to four touchdown passes in this ball game. Yeah, we're supposed to be neutral, but I'm feeling their pain right now because he has absolutely carved up the secondary. A clinic on how to attack a defense and take them out of the game. Now after the touchdown, ready to kick it away is Sanders. And they will not get a chance to return this one. It's through the back of the end zone for a touchback. Buffalo offense ready to go for their next drive. Well, partner, you know, coaches always say that every play is designed to score a touchdown. Sometimes that's not really true, but last drive, that was the case. One play to get into the end zone, and now they'll try to duplicate that success here. And it's rare for those moments to happen. Incredible when they do, and you saw the celebration. Pure, unbridled joy after that one. So the shotgun snap to Allen. And he wisely will throw that one away. Well, defensively, they haven't let him just sit in the pocket and get comfortable. And that's opposite a lot of game plans in today's NFL. Ordinarily, you're trying to keep the quarterback hemmed in. In this case, they brought the heat, and if he flushes out, they're fine with that, and they force another incompletion. Well, this is taken in. It's complete. And he'll have it past midfield almost to the 40 before being taken down. Again, they'll throw with Allen. He'll take a shot for Davis to the end zone. And this is incomplete. Oh, he had six points right in his hands but could not hang on. Third quarter from Miami. This is second and ten. In motion goes the tight end. Allen again here on second and ten. He's going to go up top again. And this is caught. Touchdown, Bills. Dawson Knox, 42 yards. And the Bills are able to cut into that deficit. 
Extra point by Bass, up and good. And that cuts the lead to 28-14. After the touchdown, Bass to kick it away. Hill is going to take it out of the end zone. And he had no room to run as he's tackled down inside the 20. The Dolphins at the line ready for their next drive. Their lead down to two scores after the touchdown a moment ago as they start with a first and ten. Throwing now is Chug of Iloa. Oh, he rifles one, and that's going to be intercepted. Picked off by Micah Hyde, and he is going to get this one back to the 20-yard line. They'll take over the first down 10 at the 20-yard line. And they'll send the tight end in motion. So after the INT, it's Allen. And oh, it'll be intercepted. Picked up by Jalen Ramsey. And the Dolphins are going to take possession here. It's a touchback, and they'll take over at the 20 yard line. First down, Miami, as they get set to start the drive. This is sort of what you would call a put-away drive, is it? I mean, they score here, especially a touchdown. It's almost out of reach. It certainly feels that way, and I think that they're going to call their plays accordingly because... And that's caught inside the 35! And this time, not quite to the 30. It'll be down at the 31-yard line. A run with Mostert up the middle. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. The defense showing some anger after giving up the big play. This time they'll lose one or two. Here's Tongue of Iloa to throw. Oh, this is intercepted, intended for Hill. Picked off by Micah Hyde. And the Bills are going to get the football back as time will run out in this third quarter of play. So it'll be a change of possession on the turnover when we get back. This is the National Football League on EA Sports. Back now in Miami. The Bills have the football, but they trail here as we begin quarter number four. The Bills come to the line to start their next drive. The interception was a great starting point, but now they need points pretty quickly down two scores. Trying to shake off the interception from the last drive. He'll look to throw. It's caught inside the 25. And now they're inside the 10 as he's brought down at the 9. The chain gang hustling to catch up. Here's first and goal from just inside the 10. Here's Allen. Touchdown! Gabriel Davis. Two catches, two touchdowns here so far. And the Bills have made it a one-score game again here in the fourth. Extra point by Bass, up and good. And now things get a bit more interesting here in this fourth quarter. Tyler Bass to kick off for Buffalo. After the touchdown, Bass to kick it away. Hill is going to take it out of the end zone. And in hindsight, probably should have taken a knee as he only gets this out to the 16-yard line. The Dolphins at the line ready for their next drive. I'm curious to see, Charles, about the play calling on this drive. Last time out, the interception that led to a touchdown. Here we are. I mean, it's very close. One score game. Yeah, and if I'm a defender, I'm actually chirping Chile on the other side of the ball, said, hey, we picked off the last one. What you going to do about it now? So when you do throw the football, high percentage, but throw it with confidence. If there's any hesitancy at all, it could end up in enemy's hands again. Nifty move. And way up past the 35 before he's taken down. A gain there of 21 yards. 
This is something you got to be wary of defensively. I mean, just because they're in the mode of trying to burn some clock doesn't mean they won't pass it. They got good yardage out of that one. Yeah, and really, when you're looking at it, now they've got a fresh set of downs. Look for second down. If they want to take another shot and try and loosen things up, that'd be the time to do it. 38-yard line, second and nine. Tug of Iloa working out of the gun. That's caught by Chosen. So just three yards on the completion there. And now third down and six to go. They were in zone defensively, went with a crossing route. It's always interesting to watch that chess match. Yeah, and I think safeties don't mind crossing routes against zone because eventually you're going to run into their territory. And that's when they lick their chops in order to get the big hit or a play on the ball. Offensively, nice execution to find a hole, make the catch. Here's Tua. They're going deep for Hill. That's caught inside the 20. And all the way in for the Miami touchdown. Tyreek Hill, his second touchdown of the afternoon. And the Dolphins use the big play to extend their fourth quarter lead. Sanders on for the extra point. He knocks it through, and it's 35-21. Now after the touchdown, ready to kick it away is Sanders. And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone, so we will start here at the 25. They'll come up first and 10 here. In motion, the tight end. First down, and they're going to throw with Allen. Flush to his right. And he's left with no option here but to throw it away. I'm not even sure I know who this guy is out there playing right now. This is very unlike him, one of the most accurate guys in the league, totally off his game right now. I don't know. I was going to ask you what you pin it on, but defensively, they've been pretty solid. Well, sometimes, you know, those defenders, they get into the receivers pretty well, and if they chip away at their timing, it's going to affect what you're doing throwing the ball as well. Two minutes left to play in this football game here on EA Sports. Well, this crowd is making an impact right now. Third and ten. Here's Allen. Oh, hit as he throws there, incomplete. That means it's just one last chance left, and this has to be a first down or a touchdown, or this game's over. Fourth down, 10 yards to go. To throw is Allen. Now a desperation throw deep downfield. Oh, what a heck of an effort there as he'll make the diving catch. All three timeouts remain, but they've got to score quick. It's first and ten. Now Allen. And his throw's going to be incomplete. So it looked like someone was very confident in his ability to fit that one in. I would say he was overconfident because there wasn't a whole lot of separation there. Had that one covered pretty well downfield and knocked it away. Throwing Allen. Eluding the pressure right. 
toward the end zone, but that's going to wind up incomplete. And now the focus is really clear. They need to get that first down and either get out of bounds or maybe use one of those timeouts. Allen. And it's intercepted at the goal line. Picked off by Eli Apple. And the Dolphins are going to get the football here as the ball will come out to the 20. Well, I mean, field goals probably aren't going to cut it at this point. This was touchdown or bust. And unfortunately for them, it turned out to be bust. Yeah, they're feeling like they've got to force the issue here. Maybe take some chances they wouldn't have earlier in the game. But give credit to this defense. They've really stood tall throughout, and they come up with the interception in the end zone. 42 yards rushing for them now to this point. So they come up on second down, and they can get another run like we just saw. Would likely put an end to this thing. That one looks like he'll throw here. He'll let this go deep for Waddle. And this is incomplete. Oh, it looked like he had a pretty good line on that one. That would have been a big play, but he could not pull it in. After the incompletion here now, third and two. Off a of play action, Tonga Bailoa. That is caught. And he'll have it past midfield almost to the 40 before being taken down. That one goes for 30 yards. No let up in this passing game. They've been a well-oiled machine throughout and I actually saw a few guys on the sidelines.